every time I go somewhere, you know, to share God's love and God's word, I bring my favorite prop, the sword of the spirit, the sword of the spirit. It is the word of God. The word of God as Hebrews 4.12 says is living and active. And this is what I say. You know what? I have the word of God and I'm not afraid to use it. You're messing with the wrong girl, enemy, because God is great. Greater is he that lives in us than he who prowls around the earth. The other day I was going on a trip and I was in the airport and there was this woman next to me sitting down. I, I went and sat next to her and I, I could see that she was kind of crying but I didn't, I didn't you know, see how upset she really was until I sat down next to her. And she was shaking. I just, without... <laughs> <laughs> it's a sad sound effect. I sat down as I said, and I put my hand out and I started rubbing her back. And I know that seems so crazy, like it's a total stranger. And then I just leaned into her and I started praying. And I just said the name of Jesus over and over as I prayed because there's nothing more powerful than that name. And she stopped crying and she stopped shaking. And I took my hand away and it was, she was calm. And while I had been praying for her and putting my hand on her back, she leaned into me and put her head on my shoulder as I prayed. And she was an older woman. She didn't know any English. She didn't know what I prayed. And I just prayed for God's comforting hand to be on her. And it was then later that I could see that's who Jesus wants to be, us to be Him. And I don't know her language, but He does. And just to pray for her and give her that comfort. We were one of the last on the airplane, and she was in my row. Um, I checked on her, I just said it's going to be okay, and, and she just looked at me and, and you know, she was okay, and, um, and a gentleman that was sitting next to me said, do you want me to move so you can sit together? And I said, oh, I think she's okay. I said, I don't actually know her, and he said, oh, I thought you were all together. I said, no, you know, we're not. And I never saw she was off the plan before, and I'll, you know, who knows if I'll ever see her again, but it, it was just showing me how much God loves us, that he met her where she was at that he knew her language. And I was just so thankful to be there, to be available. I think one of the most powerful things I can think of is the story of the blind man, where Jesus healed the blind man. He rubbed, took some mud and rubbed the man's eyes and he could see. And the Pharisees, the religious people, they said, oh, come on, tell us, you know, this man's a sinner. The blind man said, whether he's a sinner or not, I do not know, but one thing I do know I was blind and now I see. And I think that's my testimony. I don't know everything, every theological discussion and answer, but I do know one thing. I was in the pit of despair, anxiety. I had a hard time getting up. I had a hard time eating. And God brought me through. And I can share that testimony with you.